Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we're going to have a competitive look at Ursaluna in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, I'm going to say a few things. I know that Pokemon Legends Arceus does not have competitive Pokemon. I know. There's no battling in this game. I understand that. However, what we talk about in this video, we're going to be looking forward towards Gen 9 or whatever Sword and Shield DLC or BDSP DLC that allows these Pokemon to be in a traditional Pokemon game where they can play in regular battles now if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you let me know by leaving a like also if you're new to this channel subscribe i'm only 300k that is my end of the year goal i upload pokemon content every single day i love pokemon I love competitive pokemon as well and these are always really fun because it's so great to theory them on i actually did a big video on everything in this game back when things were leaked but now that we have stuff in front of us i kind of want to do shorter individual videos talking about the pokemon itself so if you guys enjoy this let me know and let me know your thoughts as well on Ursa Luna. So Ursa Luna is the evolution of Ursary. So it is ground and normal typing. Now there may not be any abilities in the game. However, the abilities were data mine. Ursa Luna does have guts. Absolutely incredible because Ursa Luna has a base 140 attack. That is the strongest Pokemon with guts and stab in the game. Right? It is the strongest guts in the game because it's coming off of stab from Ursa Luna's base 140. So... It's stronger than Conkelder's Guts as well, which is also a very strong Guts too. It also has the ability bullet, uh, Bulletproof. And Bulletproof is an exceptional ability for a ground and normal type because it makes it be immune to quite a few attacks that would actually hurt it uh, and even maybe even KO it. Pokemon like Focus Blast from Gengar, Energy Ball, and things like that. Bulletproof is just... A great ability as a secondary one and it actually works really well for Ursa Luna too considering if you look at its stats while these stats aren't going to be the traditional ones that we see down below which is completely fine as base 130 HP incredibly bulky base 140 attack incredibly strong base 105 defense its special attack doesn't matter because it's not a special attacker 80 special defense which is very respectable especially with base 130 HP and then base 50 speed it is just slightly slightly slower than uh, Ursaring, which I think is a fair trade considering how powerful this uh, this Pokemon really is. But yeah, some uh, some bulletproof moves that are also you know kind of I guess they matter in terms of things that does resist are also Bullet Seed, which is cool for like Mega Heracross if that ever comes back. Uh, you also have Aura Sphere, Acid Spray, and then just all moves a Baller Bomb in their name. So pretty cool. For this Pokemon in itself, the ability to just straight up tank those hits. So that's actually a lot for its defensive side, but I think on the offensive side, this Mon is going to be a huge Guts user. And before we actually even go forward as well, I just want to put something in your mind that I think is really cool too. Because this is an evolution of Ursaring, that means Ursaring with its base 130 attack, 75 defenses and 90 HP can use the Aviolite, assuming it is still in the game. That means that that 186, just at neutral, becomes 279 defense and 279 special defense with a base 90 HP. So that makes Ursaring, which was already a threat, right? It was already a wall breaker with Guts and Flame Orb under Trick Room with Facade and all that stuff. But that makes it a straight up tank because not only now can it just deal damage, but it can also tank hits and this is going to be so cool because it still has guts to come in and take status and everything so this is such a buff not only for you know just to have ursa luna with more attack but for ursaring itself which was traditionally only used in three types of ways uh, either a choice man set a flame orb gut set or a quick feet toxic orb set to use its speed so those are like the traditional ways that ursaring was used you did see some occasional rest talk sets back in the day as well and i know blim used one recently too but it just opens up a lot for this Pokemon because it already has access to moves like Swords Dance. And while it could still live basic moves as well, I just want to give you guys, you know, the an example of uh, just how little this mod's gonna take. Let's just say let's just say it's a standard trick room one. Or let's do that and let's just put, you know, well, let's 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 use offensive landers right here. So Jolly Earthquake does 58 to 69%. And uh, let's just give it that plus one. So, uh, yeah, that's basically, like, this Mon is not going to be taking damage. In fact, let's just let's make it ambitious as well, just so we can have the exact same thing. Yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing. So, it's not going to be taking damage from that. It can live two Earthquakes 
from offensive landers. So that is such a huge buff for the Ursaring line in general because it opens up more for Ursaring. And honestly, I think there's a, a potential metagame where both of these Pokemon can be in the same tier, whether that be OU, UU, wherever they end up going, right? They can both be using that tier simply because, you know, the Village Crusher, Ursa Ring, and Ursa Luna, the actual Village Crusher, are just like putting in an insane amount of work and they complement each other well too because uh, one of them is going to be immune to Focus Blast and, and things like that. Whereas uh, this Pokemon is also immune to... Um, uh, this Pokemon can also just take the, the regular hits coming at it. It'd probably also take just even fighting type attacks aimed at it just because of its defense boost by the Aviolite. So that's just a big buff for the Ursaring line, uh, the Ursaring line itself that I was just really excited for. Now, Ground and Normal is pretty good. Ground and Normal is pretty good, right? Offensively, they actually cover each other really well. The only things that can really take their hits are going to be um, something like uh, Skarmory. But even then... When you are 140 base attack, when you are 140 base attack and you still have access to Swords Dance, which I'm going to assume like this might be its move pool that it has here, but I'm going to assume it still has Swords Dance, just like regular Earth Ring, and it also already shows bulk up. Your facade is easily, easily, easily to a KOing Skarmory. In fact, your facade doing around 70% to Skarmory at plus two with a Flame Worm. So this mod in itself is going to be insane on Trick Room. It's going to be better than regular Earth Ring on Trick Room right simply because it's stronger and slower uh which is going to be very useful uh there are a lot of pokemon with base 50 speed so uh let's uh let's put some national decks real quick just so we can look at it but there are pokemon with base 50 speed right uh toxifix obviously hits base 35 but um Ursa Ring with zero speed and everything is just excuse me just barely uh just barely slower uh, however one mon that is actually faster than that pokemon itself uh would be like the slow king line as well so that's usually okay for trick room to be faster than slower pokemon uh just because you can actually get a hit off them you also have regular azu right so that would be azu speed tier um so if you go brave as well uh so it'd be slower than a standard uh slow king under outside of trick room so that means that like even the slow bro and the slow king line you're you're just slower than them right so you can actually they can't like get off an attack on you so that'd be a pretty big uh that'd be a pretty big buff just for the ursula thing just for trick room in itself so that's one thing that obviously is crazy i think also just flame more just four attacks right just flame more four attacks without even swords dance with 130 i think swords dance should be a standard on the set simply because this pokemon is bulky enough to be able to set up on a lot of pokemon uh it also being immune to like gyro balls and and uh i guess feral doesn't really run bullet seed sometimes in ubers they do but feral doesn't really run bullet seed but it's overall bulk allowing it to set up on a plethora of common pokemon even stronger common pokemon too like tapu coco for instance cannot thunderbolt on this thing cannot volt switch dazzling gleam is not going to it ko an 80 special defense 130 hp which i think is a pretty big thing for ursa luna and obviously ursa luna threatens it with earthquake and not even just earthquake there's other moves that this pokemon gets too and we're gonna look at that move pool real quick but um the ones that stand out obviously the elemental punches which i think are great too fire punch ice punch ice punch is good as well but for the most part you're gonna click in facade anyway with this pokemon so i don't think it matters too much the only thing this mod really needs still uh is it's Stab Earthquake or Headlong Rush. And we're going to talk about Headlong Rush in a second. Um, it's Stab Facade with Guts, which is going to be the craziest thing with it. And uh, again, honestly, coverage from there does not matter. And Elemental Punch can be fine. Uh, you do not need really coverage for anything. Celesteela and Bronzong are not Pokemon that are going to take plus two facades while you're easily going to 2-KO them. Like, you're just doing so much. So I think this is going to be one of the most insane offensive Pokemon on both Trick Room. Like, I'm talking about, like, Alolan Marowak crawdaunt levels of damage on trick room right with the ability to switch up moves which the others do if they're running life orb or thick club which and below the marrow should always have that but also the ability to tank hits not just because it's max hp because trick room usually warrants max hp on a pokemon right because you want the pokemon you don't need speed you don't need speed on these offensive threats so you go max stack max hp which actually in turn lets these pokemon take hits but also just like de naturally defensively it's going to take so much it's going to do so much for trick room right uh, you on Trick Room, you don't want to run Lightning Rod as Alolan Marowak's ability because you want to be able to use your strongest move, Flare Blitz, without taking recoil, so you run Rockhead. So Coco is typically good versus Trick Room because standard Trick Room teams don't usually fit a ground type unless it's like 
like a, a, a lead landerist to just stealth rock and explode, which that doesn't even work for Trick Room, right? Because standard Trick Room, at least in uh, newer generations, would be your Uxie, uh, your Cresselia, your Porygon, and then your, your three killers, right? Or if Magirna's allowed, it would be like Magirna, uh, Crawdon, Marowak, your, your, your three Trick Roomers to get it in, Porygon, right? So there's not typically a ground type on Trick Room teams, and while Coco is not the strongest Pokemon with access to Taunt, with access to U-Turn, with Thunderbolts in Electric Terrain as well, it still ends up being a threat. But this is just changing the the playstyle of Trick Room itself. So I think that is a huge thing for Trick Room. And you know, just to back what I was talking about, let's uh, let's look at ground types real quick. Let's just put the ground type right here, and let's just see if there's anything that really runs on Trick Room. None of these guys really run on Trick Room. None of these guys really run on Trick Room. I guess you could use Bandit Pert. You can make an argument. Diggersby is a little bit too fast. Uh, Rhyperior might be the only one you can obviously you know validate running on uh, Trick Room, which I think that's an actual really good one. Uh, I guess Golurk too, but for the most part, you're not seeing too too many ground types, and I think that. Well, Rhyperior does add something for Coco. I just think Ursaluna is, is going to be so much better just because it, it doesn't have to worry about missing its stab, right? It's still a ground type, right? So it has the Earthquake to match Rhyperior, but it doesn't have to worry about missing a Facade. And Facade is always going to be 140 base power because of the Guts boost, and it's going to be boosting the other attacks as well without the use of like a Life Orb, and it takes less recoil overall from things like that so that's gonna be crazy like that's a new aspect for trick room in itself and again even on balance it's gonna be just a wall breaker right because base 50 speed might not be slow but there's certain pokemon like azumarill for instance like azumarill right here which runs max speed uh adamant and that allows it let's uh let's look at bdsp for a second that allows it to out speed some prominent threats like scissor uh, because all scissors are defensive in BDSP, even though some are offensive, obviously, but they're usually defensive for Latios and, and Gengar, Alakazam, etc. Uh, it allows it to outspeed Skarmory, and uh, there's just uh, Clefable and other speed tiers as well, so Ursa Luna could easily just run speed EVs to outspeed them, and it's not even a waste because this Pokemon already has the HP stat that it wants, and it already has the defenses that it wants as well, so it's just able to take hits. So, again, just a huge thing, I think, for balance, for... I might even put this mod on offense just because even though it's slow it just it checks things naturally with ground and uh, Ground and normal it's immune to ghost which is amazing one of the best Pokemon in sword and shield OU is Dragapult It's immune to electric which is incredible too And it just has the overall bulk to take hits like it in if you want to do bulletproof as well Like I haven't even like really touched upon what bulletproof can do for defensive sets uh, I don't know if this thing is going to have access to Stealth Rock. I don't know if there's something that we'll be seeing on this Pokemon. Ursaring doesn't have access to Stealth Rock, but this one also becomes a ground type, so maybe it does get rock. So um, when I think of like defensive with Stealth Rock with Bulletproof, I think of Como, uh, which is really interesting. But like this is a Como that's not weak to Fairy, that's not weak to Dragon, you know? So it could do that. It obviously doesn't have Iron Defense Body Press, but it already has a strong base 140 attack. So even without investment, you're still incredibly strong, right? Uh, let's go to... Conkelder real quick because Conkelder is also 140 so without any investment you have 316 attack right so even defensive sets could still be crazy and if it does actually get actually it's a stealth rock because it's a ground type again most ground types do get stealth rock um that's another crazy thing for it and then let's look at its signature move well it's not its signature move because Torterra gets it too but it's headlong rush now headlong rocks rush is basically the ground type equivalent of close combat um so it's 100 base power 100 accuracy 5 PP. The user smashes into target in a full body tackle. This also lowers the user's defensive stats. It is close combat, uh, but for ground type attacks. However, if you notice right here, it is 100 base power and not 120 like close combat is. I think that's only because of Pokemon Legends Arceus and the strong style and ag uh, agile style, whatever. They have a specific way of doing their things, so they nerfed a lot of moves. I do think wholeheartedly that if this Pokemon and when this Pokemon comes into a new generation or wherever it goes and it has this move, it will be 120 base power. So it even has an option better than one of the best moves in the game ever, period. Earthquake, right? Because Earthquake, the reason Earthquake is one of the best moves in the game ever, period, because there's no drawback for the most part, unless you're a flying type or levitate. You have 100 base power, you have 100% accuracy, you can't miss, you have good PP as well. And uh, it's widely distributed, and also ground is just great offensively, right? So it even has an option to be even stronger than one of the strongest and best moves in the game, and most, you know, used move in the game, Earthquake. So this is amazing, too, because you don't even have to use this, but you you don't have to use this if you don't want to, but if you do want this, your, your Guts user attacker is even stronger, right? So you have your 140 base power facade. That's not, clouding, that's not counting stab at all. 
and you have your 120 base power physical ground type attack and if you don't want to lower your defenses you have a 100 base power one anyway right so this is just this mon is going to be an insane pokemon in competitive pokemon i am not overhyping this pokemon at all there are plenty of slow and powerful pokemon that we see that put in work all the time azumarill and crawdon are two to come to mind because they are very slow but they're very powerful and they also have priority but what this thing lacks in priority it has in just overall tankiness and just strength so I am super excited to use Ursaluna in an actual game in itself. It does not need much uh, to really be good. I think bulk up sets are going to be absolutely crazy as well. Uh, like Rest Talk or Special Defensive bulk up sets uh, with Bulletproof, I think they have a lot of potential as well just because it's going to be really, really hard to beat this Mon with its already great defense and you're just boosting its attack as well. So there's just so much this Pokemon could do. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I'm super excited for Ursaluna. I'm gonna be doing this for all the Pokemon. I'll just be covering them and going more in depth with them. But let me know your guys' thoughts as well. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, like I said, feel free to sub. And if you guys wanna pick up Pokemon Legends Arceus, I do have a Best Buy affiliate link down below. You can, you can go ahead and pick it up through there if you wanna support me. I'll see you guys, peace.